Let's take a look at graphics modify color feature. Now this is for changing the colors of your vector graphics. So here I have just a selection of flowers. These are all made from vector shapes. So if I look inside one of these folders, you can see these are all made of vector shapes. And I put this whole flower into a group. This will make it very easy for me to modify the color of this entire flower while maintaining those various shades. So from the modify menu, I'll drop this down and go down to adjust colors, which is also command B on your keyboard. This will bring up your adjust colors window dialog. This first drop down menu allows us to change either hue and saturation, color balance, or brightness and contrast. I'm going to leave it on hue saturation to show you what that one does first. The first slider is the hue. So right now this is kind of a pinkish flower and I can easily change the overall hue of this flower with this slider. And I get a live preview of this as I move this slider changing the hue as I move through the spectrum here. If I wanted this particular flower just a little bit more magenta, I can move it just a little bit to the left. I can also adjust the saturation of these colors. Maybe make it a little bit more desaturated. So take the saturation down a little bit and maybe change the brightness. I'm going to click reset and let's look at some of these other options. Let's check out color balance. Color balance will give us adjustments for the red, green, and blue values of the colors of the vector shapes you have selected. So let's add a little bit more red. We can take out some green or add green, make it a little bit more golden, or take out some of that blue. We've got a little tick box here for previewing those color changes in real time. So we can check and uncheck this to give us a preview of what we've changed in reference to the original. I'll hit reset again and let's look at this final option which is just brightness and contrast. This gives us a brightness slider and a contrast slider. So I'll just take the brightness down. Let's see what that does. Makes it a lot deeper red there. Increase the brightness. We're getting a much more soft pink color in our uh, flower. And also I can change the contrast. Adding more contrast makes a bigger difference between lights and darks. And taking out contrast makes those visible differences more subtle. You can press enter or click OK whenever you're happy with your changes. I can make a copy of this as well and then make my changes to that one as it's selected. This time I'll change the hue, just making it a little bit more magenta. Let's select another flower. I'll make a copy of that one as well. And we'll make some different changes on this one. And one more. I want to show you how fast and easy it is to make these changes. So now I've got some variations on my original flowers here that may be nice to play with. You can also adjust colors of your entire document. Anything that has a vector color fill, you can adjust those colors. It will also work with gradients. So let me create a gradient quickly here. I'll change the fill here from a solid color to a linear gradient and select some colors by using my eyedropper tool. By clicking off the canvas, you can make sure you have nothing selected. Now we can press Command-B to open our Adjust Colors window again. 
Now, these changes will affect the entire document. And as I move the hue slider, you can see these changes taking effect, including to the gradient fill. This is a really fast way to change the mood of your entire design. So the adjust colors feature in Autodesk Graphic is a really fast way of either making iterations to your vector graphics or changing the mood of your entire document. I hope you try out the adjust colors feature and see what it can do for you. Thanks for watching.